Hello and welcome. This is Spaceless Opinion, Master of the Thum, welcoming you back to Skyrim Month, the series where we go over Skyrim related topics throughout the entire month of November. One of the biggest and most important parts of the game has to be the shouts. It doesn't matter whether it's breathing fire, taming animals, or propelling someone off a mountain. We have all used shouts for one thing or another. And with there being 27 total shouts for the Dragonborn to learn, we have options, though some shouts are more practical than others. While others, we have to question, in what situation would you ever need to use this? So, it only makes sense that we make a discount looking tier list to judge all the shouts that this game has to offer. But, before we do that, I would like to say that today is the 10 year anniversary of when Skyrim first came out. Now, in honor of it turning 10, I would like all of you watching to comment, Happy Birthday Skyrim in the comments. Happy Birthday Skyrim! Trash tier means that it is bad. The worst. There's only one shout that I would put in this category, and that would have to be the shout, Throw Voice. This shout enables you to create a distraction and get enemies to move to another location. On paper, that sounds useful, but in practice, it's kinda stupid. In my opinion, this shout comes off as more of a gag than a useful tool. It just produces goofy insults. But we got hey, ugly. What? We got what? We got what? We got I mean seriously, this is stupid. I can't take this shit seriously. It's so childish. Not even a fourth grader would say this. Factor in that you can find all three words for it at one location, and that has a 5 second cooldown, really says enough. What a joke. D tier is for those that are disappointing, lackluster, and overall not worth using. Animal Allegiance. Enables the user to summon nearby animals to help aid you in combat. I feel like this would only be useful if you're out within nature, not anywhere else, like a city, tomb, building, or cave and if you are only limited to what animals are nearby. Not to mention, barring mammoths, a lot of animals can be easily slain, making it not as useful as it could be. Or a Whisper enables the user to detect life of anybody within a certain range, detecting anything from humanoids to undead, daedra, and even automatons. It can be used for reconnaissance purposes, but there is one issue when it comes to this shout. If this shout is used while sneaking, enemies can detect your presence making it kind of counterintuitive. Battle Fury. This shout is essentially a carbon copy of Elemental Fury, with the only difference is it is used on followers instead of yourself, making your followers' weapon strikes faster. I'll talk about Elemental Fury itself later in the video, but for Battle Fury, I think it's a waste for three reasons. One, why give the power up to a follower instead of yourself? Two, I think there are better shouts to utilize in combat instead, and three, what if you don't use followers? What's the point in having it? Clear Skies enables you to get rid of all weather effects, making the skies clear. To be honest, this shout is only useful during the main quest line because I cannot think of a single time outside of that where I felt the weather was so bad that I needed to clear it. I have never had issues with it. If the weather was harsher, like snowstorms can actually damage you, then maybe, but that simply isn't the case. Dismay causes enemies that hear it to run away from combat. Kinda redundant since there's an entire bunch of spells in the illusion school that do the exact same thing. This is just the shout version of fear. That's it. Nothing else. Kind's Peace will calm wild animals around you that are hostile. Basically the reverse of animal allegiance. Unless it's a mammoth, you have nothing to be concerned over. Wolves, bears, and saber cats are all kinda easy to kill. If you're struggling to deal with any of those creatures and you need to use Kind's Peace on them, then I am sorry, you are a lousy player. C tier is the mid card. It's not bad, it's not great, it's average. Call Dragon lets you summon a dragon, Odavink, the one you have to catch with the trap in Dragon's Reach. It is not a bad thing to have a dragon as a summon, but compared to Durnavir, Odavink is kind of a step down since he only uses Fire Breath, while Dernavir has more offensive capabilities, which I will go into proper detail later. The long and the short of it is that it is a good shout for crowd control, a step above most summons, but not the best. Call of Valor allows you to summon one of the three heroes from the Hall of Valor, Gormleth Goldenhilt, Fildir the Old, or Hack and One-Eye, and whoever it is that gets summoned lasts for 60 seconds. 
If you have a good follower or summon, I don't think it's really necessary to use this shout. None of the heroes seem to have anything that really puts them above your preferred follower. Nothing that I could really find. Extra muscle isn't a bad thing. To me, they are just another summon. Not that different from an Atronach. Dragon Rend forces dragons to land down on the ground for a short period of time. Dragons can be a pain to fight since they like to stay in the air. And let's be real honest, shooting them with a bow while they're flying is a hard shot to manage. Meaning that our best way to take one down is with melee weapons. With Dragon Ren, we can get them down to the ground and start hacking and slashing them to make our lives easier. Though it doesn't really rend a dragon, since they still have access to their breath attacks. I would have liked it if there were multiple stages to Dragon Ren, like making it to where dragons can't shout. I think that would make a good addition to it. Elemental Fury makes it to where your weapon strikes are faster. Not a bad thing to have. The only caveat is that it only works on non-enchanted weapons, making it not as appealing as it could be. Now tell me, who the hell uses non-enchanted weapons? Where's the fun in that? If I can't swing the enmity blade like I'm some sort of crazed swordman, what is the point then? Frost Breath. As the name says, it allows you to breathe frost on your enemies, useful for slowing down enemies. If you have the Dragonborn DLC, you can augment it with the effect Dragonborn Frost to make it where it can partially mimic the Shout Ice form, trapping enemies in a block of ice for a short time. In my opinion, I prefer Fire Breath to Frost because shooting fire out of your mouth is more cooler than shooting ice, but that's just me. B tier means that it's decent, a step above average, and is something that can be used more often compared to the tier beneath it. Come Ethereal turns you spectral and makes you invulnerable to all damage for a certain length of time. Honestly, this is so helpful in avoiding any type of damage, from being attacked by a powerful enemy, avoiding being damaged by traps inside of a dungeon, or if you're traveling down a steep mountain and there's a good chance you might fall. This is the shout for you. However, you cannot attack or do any type of damage while in this state. It is for defense purposes only. Disarm lets you knock an enemy's weapon out of their hands. If you're fighting an extremely hard enemy, use this shout to blast their weapon away, making them less dangerous. Just make sure that they don't recover their weapon, so pick that shit up and put it in your inventory. Also, be mindful that some enemies usually carry a second weapon. Good chance it won't be as useful as their primary. Just want to put that out there just in case you disarm somebody and you see them have a different weapon. Drain Vitality can damage an enemy's stamina, magicka, and health for 30 seconds. It is good for debuffing an enemy, making it to where their stamina diminishes to a point where their combat prowess begins to decline, magicka affecting their ability to do spells, and health just begins to drop, getting an all-around trifecta. Ice Form lets you freeze an enemy or enemies in a block of ice, completely immobilizing them. Think of it as the icy version of Paralyze. With an enemy turned into a literal ice cube, you can use that to your own advantage, by either whacking them repeatedly to take out giant chunks of their health, or to use this moment to catch your breath. Take a potion, equip a different weapon, whatever you want really. Now if you choose to attack an enemy while they are frozen, the ice will begin to break and they will get back to their feet. But use that to your advantage and just keep hitting them. Summon Dernavir. It functions just like Call Dragon, except Dernavir has a few more abilities compared to Odaving, like being able to use both Frost Breath and Drain Vitality, as well as being able to summon undead from the Soul Cairn, like Bone Men, Mist Men, and Wrath Men. One extra thing as well is that every time you summon Dernavir, he will teach you the words to a new shout that you can use called Soul Tear. So if having a summon that can summon its own summons isn't enough for you, how about an immensely powerful shout to learn? Whirlwind Sprint grants you the ability to dash forward rapidly. This shout has many uses, can let you travel across gaps, run across deep water, can use it as a mean of escape if you're in a bad situation, can use it to dodge enemy attacks, or close the distance and take out a long range foe, not to mention that every time you use it you kind of feel like a speedster, leaving your enemies in the dust can be so satisfying. A tier is reserved for the good stuff, the ones that you can see yourself using often. Bend Will enables to turn people, animals, or even dragons into your allies, forcing them to do your bidding. If you play the Dragonborn DLC, you know how powerful this shout is. Mirak uses it to tame dragons and ride some all around Apophrica. For that fact alone, that makes it an incredibly powerful shout. However, it has other uses besides that. Being able to bend the wills of animals and people has its perks too. It is like the animal legion shout being fused with illusion magic, making it more versatile than both of them combined. Cyclone. Similar to Unrelenting Force, 
Instead of pushing enemies back, Dish Out launches them upward by creating a miniature tornado, then causing an enemy to come crashing down and taking fall damage. If you're a fan of Unrelenting Force, you will enjoy using Dish Out too. In some instances, it can do more damage than Unrelenting Force. Not to mention, it's kind of funny to watch someone sent flying up, then to come plummeting back down. Fire Breath, self-explanatory, lets you shoot fire out of your mouth like a flamethrower. This shout is used by most dragons in the game, and why wouldn't they want to use it? Fire damage is effective against a wide variety of foes. And if you have the Dragonborn DLC, you can augment your Fire Breath with Dragonborn Flame, making it to where your shout can summon fire worms from the corpses of enemies you killed with your breath making an already lethal shout a lot more dangerous. Marked for Death, I consider this to be an incredibly underrated shout. It is something that I have overlooked quite often, but when researching for this, I found out that Marked for Death is one of the most powerful shouts in the game. If you hit somebody with this, it will cause the target to take an armor penalty, and will begin to lose health points for 60 seconds. Not bad. Now, what if I were to tell you that the armor penalty that the target gets is permanent and can be stacked on the same person over and over and over again, making it to where they could die with a single punch if their armor rating is that low? Out of all the shouts on this list, Marked for Death is the most overpowered since you can use it on any enemy, including dragons. Especially dragons. Soul Tear. This shout can kill people. You may be thinking, yeah, a lot of shouts can kill people, what makes this one special? This shout can do 100 damage, like that. If you have all three words, then it makes it 300 damage. If you kill someone with this shout, it will capture their soul and send it inside of an empty soul gem in your inventory, and can raise the slain enemy from the dead as an ally for 60 seconds. This shout is good for both offensive and crowd control reasons. Plus, filling up soul gems doesn't hurt either. S tier, the best of the best. Only four have earned a spot on here. Starting with Dragon Aspect. If the Dragonborn had its own special anime-esque transformation, it would be this, enabling the user to take the aspect of a dragon. When active, you are enveloped in an ethereal set of dragon armor for a short period of time, which grants a huge bonus to power attacks, armor rating, increase in fire and frost resistance, more powerful shouts, and a decrease in shout recharge time. If your health is reduced to 50%, an Ancient Dragonborn will be summoned to help you in combat. This Dragonborn summon is capable of using both Unrelenting Force and Frost Breath in combat. Unlike any of the other shouts, this one can only be used once a day, so use it only when need be. Slow Time. When activated, it will slow everything down significantly for a short period of time, making it to where you're able to move faster than enemies while the shout is active. Useful for if you want to dish out a whole bunch of hits, to make sure an extremely powerful enemy you don't want to take a hit from can't attack you, or you just need a moment for a reprieve. Slow time will give you all the time in the world. Storm Call creates a heavy downpour accompanied by a fierce thunderstorm directly above you that throws down bolts of lightning upon anyone underneath it, friend and foe alike. If you plan to use the power of Thor to smite your enemies, be mindful of where you use it because this shout can and will kill citizens, friendly characters, and followers if used in a heavily populated area. However, when you do use it, you feel like a god with this much power on display. Then finally, our last shout, the iconic Unrelenting Force. I don't need to explain this one. Anybody who has played this game knows what it is. If you don't, then I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Any Skyrim gamer worth their salt would know what Unrelenting Force is. The reason why it is in S tier is because it is the face of shouts. When you think of a shout, this is the one that comes to mind. Besides, it never gets dull to Fusro Da bitch off a mountain. And if you have the Dragonborn DLC, you can augment this bad boy with Dragonborn Force, and when you kill enemies, it will turn them into dust. This is beyond any shadow of a doubt, the king of all shouts. Alright, that should about do it. I went over every single shout in the game and categorized them. I think that I explained myself well on why I think certain shouts are at the places that they are. I'm sure that your tier list will look different to mine, so let me know how you would arrange this list. What do you consider to be trash tier? What do you consider to be S tier? Does anybody think that throw voice is actually good? Tell me in the comment section down below. Now if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and make sure you subscribe for more of that good old Skyrim of content. And don't forget to say happy birthday to Skyrim. Now, until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.